Okay, here we have a question on probability. Um, basic idea here is we've got to make the numbers add up to one. I don't even need to read this question. It's so common, this type of question, where you've got the table and a missing number. All the probabilities of all the, all the possible things that can happen must add up to one. So either we can just add this up in our head, get 0 0.8. So the missing number must be 0 0.2. Or we could use the calculator if we're not very good at, cal at adding stuff after just to check. So 0 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.5 is 0 0.8. And one takeaway, our answer gives us one fifth or 0 0.2. If your question's in decimals, leave your answers in decimals. If your question's to do with um, something out of something, then write it in fractions. Okay, so that, oh, let's just move that out of the way, 0 0.2. Uh, and a classic sort of um, carry on, follow on from that is there is, in fact, let's actually write down our calculation then. Because it's worth, because it's worth two marks, we really need to put that calculation in there just to show that's where we got it from in case we mess up. Um, there are 800 students at the college. Work out the number of students who studied German. So this is the number of Germans. So we've got a 0.2 uh, probability of studying German. There's 800 students. Um, so we just got, this is a very common way of working out a question is just to do the 800 times 0.2. And that gives us um, 160, but we do it on the calculator, so 800 times 0.2 equals 160. Um, quite often that's um, when it's to do with an experiment, we're talking about the expected number. So if I roll a dice 100 times, uh, well, 60 times or 600 times, how many times would I expect to get a um, six or a one or something? So that's expected values. But this, because this is just um, all the students that study, so we know if their property is 0 0.2, if we set them at random, then if there's 800 students in the college, that must be 160. That's our studying German.